አርሳት ሲዝ ፍሉድ ኮሌክሽን ኢን ዘ ፐርቲኒያል ካቪቲ ፓቶፊዚዮሎጂ ኢምፖርታል ሃይፐርቴንሽን አርሳት ኢዝ ዲዩ ቱ ሲስተሚክ ቫሶ ዳይሌሽን ዲዩ ቱ ሪሊዝ ኦፍ ናይትሪክ ኦክሳይድ which leads to decreased effective arterial volume and renal sodium retention volume overload in ascites in malignant or inflammatory ascites leakage of protein material occurs from tumor or from inflamed infected or ruptured intraabdominal structures symptoms due to ascites include increased abdominal gas weight gain new abdominal hernia abdominal pain dyspnea nausea and are disatiety evaluation includes in addition to the history physical examination flank dullness occurs when uh, flank dullness occurs when there is uh, 1500 ml and above ascitic fluid and shifting dullness occurs when there is uh, much fluid collection and it has a sensitivity of 83% radiologically by ultrasound it can detect up to 100 ml of acidic fluid mri and the ct scan of the abdomen may also help us to uh, diagnose other causes paracentesis or sampling of the peritoneal fluid is performed in all patients with new acids and in those uh, patients who are hospitalized due to cirrhosis with ascites it has low complication rate and prophylactic fresh frozen plasma or platelet is not needed and its most useful tests include cell count albumin total protein and culture of the acidic fluid one of the most important uh, investigations is calculation of serum ascites albumin gradient to identify the possible cause of ascites it is calculated by serum albumin in gram per day minus ascites albumin in gram per day so if it's due to portal hypertension it may be due to uh, different reasons which cause portal hypertension the serum ascites albumin gradient will be 1.1 and above if it's due to non-portal hypertension related causes it is usually less than 1.1 So it may be patients may have portal hypertension with additional other causes. In this case, one can do uh, total protein of the ascitic fluid. And if it is above uh, 2.5, it may be due to non-serotic causes, including heart failure. If it is less than 2.5, it's uh, most likely due to cirrhosis. Cell count, the normal is less than 250 and uh, if it is 250 poly, uh, polymorphonuclear cells it suggests infection other investigations one can do may include amylase level the bilirubin triglyceride uh, bnp cytology and also glucose and ldh which can give us different uh, differential diagnosis for example, amylase may be high in pancreatitis and gut perforation. Bilirubin may be high due to biliary leak or proximal intestinal perforation. Triglyceride may be high due to chylus ascites. Brain nitrofuric peptide may be high in heart failure. Cytology may diagnose peritoneal carcinomatosis and low glucose and increased LDH on the background of increased uh, polymorphonuclear cells may suggest spontaneous bacterial peritonitis thanks for watching please subscribe and like for more videos